Apparently a messenger went after us as we were leaving uh, New Serene. Lady de Morange sent me a message. Hmm. Lady Morange tells me that a delegation from the de Vesp family just landed on the island. From the look on your face, I take it their arrival is not good news. Are they that bad? Their name was given to a deadly poison, the Draft of Deves. It's highly regarded among assassins, so there's good reason to worry. We should hasten to get back to New Serene. Perhaps, but what we should do first is find my cousin. Beast. Try and just leave them be. This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. It looks more like a battlefield. I hope that Omegad and your cousin survived the fight. Search the zone. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happened here. Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defenses. The tents were lacerated by what looks like claws. And there are traces of blood everywhere. Some of these men must have been attacked in their sleep. By beasts? Our soldiers were attacked by surprise. And there were animals among the assailants. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies. And no sign of Constantine or Catasac's presence here. Perhaps they were in another place. And the soldiers wanted to join them. We need to follow the tracks. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the zone and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really a place of a cult. Uh, but rather a place of... Anchoring, a place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps Katasach wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. There are bodies, and without a doubt there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. This blade is a native ritual knife, and this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual here. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? Corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly until the end. Neither Constantine nor Katasak are among them. A crater, without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place. Perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened, and many fell during the fight. But a group was able to escape down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. More tracks. Footprints. They must have fled this way. Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. These will let us just pass by them. I can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. The 
new footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are not only the corpses of our own men, but where could these other soldiers have come from? signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives on them? There are footprints. Only a handful made it up to here. Professor Sarah Fedden notes. Here? Oh. Path stops on this overhang, and despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine or Katasak. And these rocks were broken. As if they had taken cannon fire. What could have happened here? I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine, what have you gotten yourself into again? I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they be responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. <laughs> According to this note, this troop came from an outpost of the Bridge Alliance close by. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge in some way be linked to this attack? That makes no sense. These vials look familiar. Katasach used the very same to stock his potions. He must have come here. I'm going to pick them up. Very well. Let's sum things up. Constantine and Katasach definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual, but they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. Unless... He himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he now has leverage to apply to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. But regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. We could return to Wen Chavier to learn more. Perhaps Katasak returned there. Or maybe his Voglandai could tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers were involved in the combat, or at least the end of it. They must have some stories for us. And you think that they would have taken Constantine? Is that possible? Maybe he was in need of treatment. But if you suspect them to have participated in the combat to capture him, I think you're wasting your time. I know the captain of that outpost. A pessimistic man who would never order an attack without being absolutely certain of total victory without losses. Perhaps. Unless he was simply obeying orders. It does belong to the coin guard, after all. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. We'll visit the outpost first. And then if we find out nothing, we're swinging to Van Shavie. Hopefully, that won't be necessary though, because more time I spend on the road, less time I spend, well, looking for my cousin. Honestly, I don't know what I would do without him. We were together ever since we were kids. Ever since I can remember myself, I remember him besides me, so... 
And his family never was the most loving one. <laughs> Luckily my mother had enough love for both of us. My adoptive mother, I mean. Yeah, pretty much. Colonials? You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? Desarde. I am legate of the congregation of merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris. I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, sir? Hopefully give us some answers. I'm looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rat hole? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body. Which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency. But we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well? You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me? I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? Captain, my name is Afra. you might remember me. I passed by this outpost with my fellow scholars. The Lost Expedition? Yes, I remember. His Excellency was able to... extract us from the situation we found ourselves in. His Excellency has powers that I do not possess. I'm casting no stones at you. You are isolated and without resources, and understandably a bit angry. You have the feeling that the powerful of this world have abandoned you, and you want to make them pay. But a life hangs in the balance. We must save him. <sighs> you were right. I will tell you everything I know. <sighs> One of the men I'd posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just refusing to die. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. an infirmary I know I've come to see the wounded soldier the captain told me you might need my help 
That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier... No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. I actually have these ingredients. I can make it up right now. Give me a few seconds. Were you able to concoct the potion against burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Uh, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Well, there's not enough time to head out for Xavier. And this is our best lead, so I guess we're just heading back to the camp and resting for a day. Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days when we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming in our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the Coin Guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Konstantin Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching. Rebels, I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. And you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes, it's best I leave now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. Well, it could have easily been the Donea Exrogal. But they came after the battle. I still have no idea who attacked our people. Excellency, I was told that you saved my soldier. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please, I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes, I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were already nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. 
A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good man, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. Something bothering you, Siora? Well, if the people saw the same thing you did, maybe they'll force their leaders to stop this war. Desperation and aspiration never did make a good mix. Everyone is desperate to cure the Malachor. Greed is poison, isn't it? Yeah, I imagine you would. Don't have the best memories connected with it. say there you are again what do you want to speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort a soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield I know that you see us as your enemies but we are not here to harm you I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother as well as the man who is protecting him Katisach, one of your greatest Donegada. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasach, and Avorst, Tire, he died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea, but we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there, and many of the Renaigse were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaixe? Examine him to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body, you will pay for this offense with your life. Well, it might put you at ease when I say that punishment for desecrating corpses is the same in Serene. Katisach. Seeing the state of his body myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Denegad, to have doubted your loyalty and even more for what we are about to do. Now then, let's see what story this corpse has to tell. The corpse retains the marks of a bludgeoning. There are large bruises all over it. I can see no wounds that could be attributed to a blade or a musket shot. The major wound is found on the chest, which was crushed by something tremendous, to the degree that the skin was torn. The ribs are in pieces and the organs punctured. The edges of the wound are singed. 
and smell of burnt flesh. There is a powdery spot on this wound, as if from ash or dusty gravel. Katasach bore the brunt of this attack or incredible force. I would venture to say it was inhuman. I can only imagine one thing that could have inflicted such a wound. It's as if an enormous burning stone hit him right in the center of the chest. And seeing as how the bodies of the soldiers we found were sporting wounds of a similar nature, we can deduce that we're on the tracks of a man or a creature capable of using molten rock as a weapon. I can't imagine an Adaic behaving like this. It is not that way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned or angered by what happened to Katasach? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives, your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same, there is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tiernahach Kadachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. Is there a way for me to perform the ritual or for me to experience that and not her? I'm growing tired of asking people impossible things. I'm growing tired of having to do impossible things. But I do not have a choice, do I? What, to help ease my burden? <laughs> Fair enough. Hello. I've come to ask you for help. My help? You still seek the remedy for the sickness on your island? Or are you looking for something else? My cousin has been taken, and I've been told that you could help me. Truly? And in what way? By performing the Anatalis Fair on the body of Katasach, the Donegad. Katasach is dead. Under Vosh Dere. This is a great tragedy. He was a good man, perhaps the best of us all. How did this happen? He went with my cousin to a sacred site when they were attacked. My cousin has disappeared, taken according to a witness. 
and Katasak suffered terrible wounds. We examined him, and it seemed as if he had been struck by molten rock. Fire of the earth. Only the Nadaig Manaemon have the power to wield it. But none of our own would have attacked Katasak. This is why we need your help. We want to understand and to find who's responsible. And you will avenge the dead as you have avenged my wound in the past. Very well, Renoixi. I will help you. And I also wish to gain understanding. Our island wails in suffering. Many Sinolmenawi have died. The Anatalas fair may kill me, but at least I will know. You will need to act as my Voglendaig, and bring to me the necessary ingredients while I prepare. What do you require? A potion. And listen and remember. Or write in your language what I shall tell you. Do not forget, the viscera of the scavengers must be taken from a place near the battlefield, because they contain the flesh of those who fell. As for the personal object of Katasach, find his weapon, because it knew his fury and his despair. He didn't have a weapon when I found his body. I'll search the battlefield. Where can I find him? In Duren's camp. She recovered him after the battle. Very well. Not far from there is a sacred circle. You'll find me there when you have united all that I need. Then we can perform the ritual when the moon is high. I'll go and get the ingredients you require, and I'll find you there when the moment has come. Safe travels. All right, most of this stuff I already have. Just need to swing back to the battlefield and... Then we can see what we can actually find out. I really hope this doesn't hurt her. I really hope it does not. I'll take that as a compliment. Were you able to find the elements I need for the ritual? Yes. Here is what you asked me to bring. This is good. But the moon is not yet high enough. Would you like to wait with me? Yes. I'll keep you company. Sit then in that case. And remain silent. I must meditate. Katasar, we have come to learn the truth of your death. Ato al confrangawi brandi, olehana memen adestame haman. Baravridan anta hanemo kwate grenfem, linkwi damda renaute da hodos. Lemat, de tahawan kloisam, de talugedon velam, de taragam buledam. The Tatamenam Reloidan, Adotalaman Kantebaidam, and Antelam for Frag Tangom. Katasak, help me, please. Show no fear. I do not think he means you any harm. <gasps> what is this? This monster? Why is it attacking us? I don't know. I don't understand. It is as if it seeks you out. It wants you. You never should have done that, Katasar. To save one, Renaikse, you put us all in great peril. His spirit is different. He receives badly. 
You have woven the bond of the Deathbringer. What is happening to you? Get a hold of yourself. Come on. I cannot believe it. He has returned. Who has? Finbar. The High King. We thought he was dead. He disappeared months ago. Is he the attacker? And what of Constantine? Have you seen a young, blonde-haired man? He was sickly. Yes. The golden haired was there. And he was afraid. Katasakh protected him before he was killed by Finbar. Leave me now. I am very tired. How are you feeling? Better. What are you going to do now? If I want to have any hope of finding Constantine, I must follow Vinbar. I have no choice. Do you know where to look for him? Vinbar has been missing for moons. The kings and queens could tell me when they saw him for the last time. Then you must earn their trust. Arm yourself with patience and courage on all Manawi. Your journey is still long. Thank you, Mev. You have helped us greatly. Do not thank me. I have not done this for you, but for Katasakh. In order to satisfy my curiosity, I betrayed my king. You will find him and confront him, no doubt. All that remains for me to do is to pray that I have done nothing that cannot be fixed. Farewell, Mev. And all I can do is pray that I don't have to choose between starting a war and saving my cousin. Because I don't know what I would choose, honestly.